Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to TCTN, the Crazy Troll Nation, because I am just crazy and just a lunatic at times, and sometimes I tend to be a little delirious. <laughs> and the troll part is because I consider myself a troll, a cute one, but a troll nonetheless. And so if you're here for the first time, welcome to the Crazy Troll Nation. If this is you coming back, thank you for coming back. I'm going to run really quick through what is on my face today. I thought I looked cute, so I'm like, I'm going to just do this video really quick. I did my eyes first. I did... Um, Fenty Eye Primer. I used the OG, Make It Original palette. On my, let me take this brush out of here. I used Naked as a transition color. I used Buck directly into the crease. I used Virgin as a brow highlight. I used Toasted all over the lid. And then I used Half Baked on the first third of the of the lid, just the inner corner part. And then I used Hustle on the outer third of the lid. I used Creep to define the outer V and drag that directly into the crease and also underneath my lower lash line. And then I went back with Buck and just blended all of that in to make sure there were no harsh edges. So that is what is on my eyes today. I didn't do my inner rim yet. I'm going to do that later before I go out because once I do that after a while, my eyes get irritated. And I'll also, I will also do mascara later. For brows, I tried the Fenty um, brow pencils that she has. I tried, I purchased two, soft black and black brown. The black brown was a little red, and so I'm going to return it. I put the soft black over top of it, and I extended out my wing to see more of the soft black color which i really like so i'm going to keep the soft black and uh that's the crazy part i was talking about <laughs> during the 20 percent off the forest sale i purchased the milk hydro hydro primer even though i'm still working off of a sample that i had from a while ago like you only need a tiny bit of this stuff but since it was a 20 percent off and i really love it every time i use foundation i use this found this primer so I said I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. I used the Cover Effects Foundation G60. I used um, two concealers for my under eyes. I wasn't sure what color I am right now. <laughs> 11.5, which is Butterscotch, and number 13, which is Cream Caramel. And these are the Sephora, what exactly is it called? I will list it below. I don't have my reading glasses on, but I think, oh, here it is. Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. So these are the two that I use throughout the year depending on what, how much coverage or coloring that I need. For setting powder, I use the Lancome Long Time No Shine Loose Setting Mattifying Translucent Powder. This is not the container, this is a pretty vulgar container. I emptied out that powder, put the Lancome in because I love the Lancome powder. I use this to set all over my face. I use the Fenty Setting Powder in Cashew for the perimeter of my face. And I use the Makeup Geek Bronze Baroness Face Palette. These colors show up so much darker on my skin than they do in this palette. I use this as a highlight. I use this as a blush. Look at that color. Th that does not look like this. <laughs> so I'm like blending, blending. So I learned a hard way just to very lightly tap my powder brush in here before I put the blush on. And I did use this down here as a contour color, just in the hollows of my cheeks, like right here. Like, you see how dark these are? They do not look like that in this palette. But I'm glad I like it, and I am loving it. And so this is one of my go-tos. I actually only have one other blush palette, <laughs> which I really love. But this, I, I am really digging this, and I am really glad that I purchased it. Then I went in with the Sunstalker Island Ting from Fenty around the perimeter of my face. And what else did I do? And I set all of that with the Cover Effects High Performance Setting Spray. And it still just amazes me how much I sweat between this, whatever setting powder I use, whatever setting spray I use. I, I, and I am hormonal. But right here, oh my gosh. Like it just, I have like beads of sweat. <sighs> but anyway, and on my lips, did I say everything else? On my lips, I have Mermaid Thighs from Fenty. It came in a three-piece set. I believe they're more toppers, but I wanted to see what it would look like on its own. And I did a video prior to this, and I, I just babbled too much, and I stumbled over my words too much, and so I'm redoing the video. But that's why this is like this, because I wanted to show you guys 
this applicator. It's not a doe foot. It's not a brush applicator. It is not flexible at all. Like it does not bend. And so it makes applying the product very challenging. I like the color. I will continue to use it depending on how I feel that day as a gloss, but I definitely will also try the three, the, the three of these as toppers because as a gloss, it has a nice sheen. It's kind of like a holographic or iridescent, whatever the, the proper word is. And so I am liking what it's doing. So this is everything on my face. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I don't know what the next video is going to be. I do have some polyamory terms that I want to talk about. Things that I learned that I didn't even know that there were words for. Very interesting stuff. And so I will talk about that. And also I did an article on my website, a blog article on BDSM lifestyle type stuff. And so that I will turn that into a video as well. I will label my videos appropriately. So if you don't want to hear about polyamory or if you don't want to hear about BDSM lifestyle, just don't watch those videos. Or if you do, watch them if you don't want to see the makeup ones. You know, whatever you want to watch. So I will label appropriately because I know everything is not for everybody. And you guys will see me in the next video. The last thing I will say is I purchased a tavern set table, which is where I'm sitting. And a ring light is behind the table. And I have a mirror down here that I can see myself in very clearly. I'm liking this setup. And I'm hoping that it is adequate and sufficient for doing videos. So yeah, I do think I'm a little far, but there, I, I'm not able to get closer unless I like lean over the table. So I don't know. So I'm still trying to figure things out, but I do think this is going to be my setup. And since I'm not doing tutorials um, and I looks on camera, I think this will be okay. And if you guys think it sucks, just tell me it sucks. I'm not easily offended. I'm a straightforward person, so... So let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how your day is going. Let me know if you are still rocking the OG Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I am trying to get more use out of more colors in here. So I'm proud of myself for doing that. And everything else that I've used today, I am absolutely loving. This, I just hate the applicator. But I'm liking the color. First time using this, but I am loving it. Some people were saying, I know I was about to end the video and then I keep talking, right? Welcome to the crazy. Some people were saying they didn't like the brush on here because it is actually a brush and not a spoolie, but I like it because it's so much softer than a spoolie because it feels like I'm like raking through my brow hairs where this one is actually is just like a brush. So it feels really good. And it's about the same price as the Tarte one and the Anastasia one. And you get about the same amount of product. So it's more so your preference. Um, yeah, so I think it's safe to say all of these products I use today are my favorites right now and has been quite a while i'm really ending this video thank you guys for watching see you in the next video we'll see me you'll see me in the next video thanks guys bye